Hello, hello. It's Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. And I'm back today to work on the red and white journal. These are the little pocket journals I've been working on. And what I'm putting in them into some of these that I'm making now is um, all these extra cards and stuff I have from other packet pa Christmas packages that I'm not going to carry through to next year. So um, these are getting a lot of tabs made and little journal cards. I'll, I'll need to go back through and put some to and from on them and um, shape them up a little bit and put in some little strings and then they'll be ready to use for uh, Christmas packages. So on this one, I want to go to the back here and I want to make some pockets and this is two and one fourth inches wide. Remember these are four inches. So this is making this a, a good size pocket right here. We are going to make this the same height as our page. My pencils are breaking down. Time for some new ones. Okay, so there's that one. This one should be the same, but you never know about these things. <laughs> so, anyway, I didn't realize I had so many of these cut out. When I first cut them out, I did not think that they would take that long to make, you know? I thought, oh, shoot, I'll finish that in an hour. Well, but that does not happen with anything. It takes a while to do all things. <coughs> Excuse me. I went around these corners. So I've got to find my corner rounder. Got some tools in my way. <coughs> Let me get some out of the way. Let's see, are you the right one? Yes, you are. One fourth inch. That's a half inch. Oh, no, this is special. Special one. This is the other one. Oh, do these things fall off on you guys? I have to put tape in there or something. Mine are always falling apart. And I'm going to go ahead and do this side too. Just to make it a little bit fancier. And I did that one a little bit wrong, so... Well, you know. It happens. You just got to get these in there the right way. And then they go on perfect. Okay. So I want to do that, and then I have something I want to put on here. What is it? I don't know. Um, I was thinking maybe a little piece of velvet or something, or white. Let me get some. Here is the red. Oh, that is pretty, isn't it? And then if we wanted to go white, I have white. Hmm. I think I like the red. So red it is. Okay. So first I'm going to put the red on 
And to do that, I, think I will make this as full length, but I'll shape it with my dull scissors when it is ready to be shaped. Okay, now here we go. I am looking for some tape like this one. That fit? Mm, it just fits. I'm going to stick this on here if I can. And if I can't, then I'll put it on. I'll find some thinner stuff. Because I kind of want it to stick. To stick nicely. Oh, look at that. It peeled off that little piece of st stuff there. No, that one is too wide. I'm just going to use this. This will be better. And I'll tamp it down with my finger. like so to make it wide enough to stick this on and it will go just a little bit here like that Sorry if I'm off camera. Oh no, she's off camera. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm on camera now. I still haven't hooked my computer up in here because I've been hitting some mighty fine gold mines on family tree stuff, so. My computer is still out by my chair, and when I feel like working on the tree, I work on it. When I say gold mine, I mean names, not actual gold. There, doesn't that look pretty with that little shape there? Just a tiny shape. Oh, I love it. And I'm going to go from here down like so. I'm only coming up to here, which is kind of nice because then it allows the envelope, or sorry, the pocket to open up more neatly. And I really like that. Um, it, it just gives this pocket just a little bit more space, which is very cool. Isn't that sweet? Look at that. And we'll, we can yank on that pocket after it's dry. I don't want to yank on it too much right now. Okay, coming over to this one. And yes, I did get my strip ready already. Get that glue off my finger. You want to be sure and tamp that glue down a little bit with your fingers 
if you're not going to use tape um, because otherwise it gets um, it will bleed right through this and it looks really awful on this material really awful There we go. How sweet. I love that. This one's going to go over here. And I forgot to go around the edges and ink this up, but that'll be okay. We can still do this other side. So we can get it inked up a little bit. for a sip of coffee. Mmm, that is so good. I absolutely love coffee. It's not good to drink it all the time, but I do love it. I really do. Okay, now we need a decoration here. Oh, I put this one on here. And maybe we need something on here a little bit. Um, oh, we have this belly band. We have these left over. Little gingerbreads on them. But I think we'll leave them as snowflakes. And I think... Let's see. I have a little... Oh, I have this one. It has a, a pretty good size thing there. Oh, that would be too big. I think. Let's look. I mean, if it's too big. Oh, yeah, I think it is too big. I need to find my other one. Yeah, that's kind of makes it kind of too slanted, don't you think? I'm going to use it, but I think it's too slanted. Um, oh, here it is. Here we go. This is the one I wanted. And I want to use the big one on this one as well, but it's smaller than that one. That one. go. Oh, I don't like that at all. But I'm using it. I'm not letting myself not use it. Because I've already done that. So, so there. That's for me. <laughs> that so there is for me. <laughs> to remember. If you're going to cut it up, you're going to use it. I need a pencil. Approximately there. And this one is going to go approximately here. So I'm going to slide that in. Right there. Slide this one in. Oh, had to get the little thing out of there. Right there. Erase the pencil lines. And then on the back here, we need to put some, um, something solid. I guess we could go with these, not those, those don't fit. Oh, 
that'll work. This will work. Oh, look. This will work, too. This is that red straw paper. It's from Rachel at Roxy Creations. She can buy this. They use it for, um, like, postmats at restaurants and stuff there. And we are all just crazy for it. just feels like some sort of a construction type paper but not kind of is kind of not okay there's that one now is this one going to fit on here no of course not. Of course not. So do I have any more red? Nope. Gotta make a new one. See, it comes in these great big sheets. Ooh. That's a lot, huh? But the nice thing is, is you just keep using it until it's gone. Hmm, it would be fun to put all my little scraps of paper on it and make a master board out of it for um, out of all the Christmas papers. That might, might be a thing to do next week maybe. Let's let that one dry a little bit. And we'll, cut, we'll cut on this one. Cut, 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 cut. You know what I noticed about um, the eyelets? You know, I was buying the I'm buying those other brands now that are cheaper and they do work. But what I did notice about them was that um, they're glossy. I had not noticed that before, but the other day I was looking at them and I was like, hey. I don't really like the glossy. Kind of like the matte, matte look, you know. So anyway, there is that to consider. I just never even, you know, thought about it when I bought them. Had I noticed the glossy on them, which I'm sure that it showed they were glossy. I don't know that I would have bought them because they are quite glossy, but I'm using them and I'm going to use them. I'm going to save that red for backing some of these things and then we'll get out some to and from stamps and put on those. That would be cool. Let's see. Mm, that one I did not quite get lined up there, did I? But we're going to go around it with some ink, which will help cover that up. And so there we go. There's that one. I need to punch the hole in that one. There we go. Let's 
So, um, I think it's Amy asked if we were getting snow here. Um, we are getting snow up in the Cascades. Um, we do, you know, snow starts up there pretty early in up around the Portland area. Um, it starts a little earlier up there too. But um, for, gra for ground snow here in the valley, we don't usually get it till late December. Um, we get some rare occasions of snow or um, little bits of snow that start happening sometime, you know, late November, late, and then in later December after Christmas. So you can see how late it is. Um, we might get valley snow. Now, for us living in at the base of the Cascades, you'd think we would get tons of snow. But we don't. Um, we're actually at a 500 foot level or something like that. And we are kind of in this valley area. And so, uh, I, I don't know. It just, my dad always said, I made sure we I put you guys in a banana belt so you'd always have to go to school. And... Uh, you know, he's right. We do. We we did often have to go to school because there were no snow days until later in the year, and then we didn't get too many. But, um, yeah, you know, after the first of the year, we get, we can, we can get quite a bit of snow, and it, it can actually close the schools and stuff. So, I wanted to show you this. See, that is Matt. See how matte that is? I didn't, I don't think I bought any big ones. But I bought these pink ones. Can you see the difference between those? I don't know if you can, but this one is very glossy. It's like a high gloss. And it's okay, but I prefer the matte. So, and I would like to use these on this, but I think they're too big. So we're going to use the glossy red ones, which is that one, and not that one. The, the purple is glossy too, and that one. I'm going to just slide that in there. See, sometimes they don't tamp down too good. There it went. You have to squish them a little bit harder than you do the um, the creative. Um, we are memory keepers, but I'd rather we are memory keepers would come out with some more, so that we could order more. That would be swell. So that would be very, very kind of them to do that for us. Okay, I need to make some ties for those. So I have some extra fabric here. Come on. Oh, they never want to tear when they're this size. There we go. Thank you. I'm going to put this through first and then I will cut it to the length I want it. And then what little pieces are left over of this will go into the bin of... Um, there we go. Of cluster making supplies. The little fabric clusters. There we go. There's one. Cool. And here's the other one. Oh, I feel like I got a sneeze today. I don't know if. It's just the, the leaves are on the ground, and I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of sick of having a runny nose. 
don't know if I'm getting like an old people nose. <laughs> so it just runs all the time. Sheesh. But it drives me crazy. <laughs> Whatever it is, I don't like it. Give that a little chop at an angle. There we go. And I must have a to and from I can stamp on here. Let's see. Let's see. Um, oh gosh. It's too complicated. Uh, there's that one. Let's see, I have these. These will go into my um, tiny scraps. Okay, there's a T. How do you get these apart? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> and then they must go into a big pile after this. There's a T. Oh, sorry about my nose. And there's an O for two T O two. Yep. And now we need here's an F. There's an R, another O, whoops, this way, and then I need an M, not a W, an M. put them at least in some kind of order. Only reason I know is because I'm counting backwards here. Okay. I am going to <laughs> put these right over there. Actually, I need to find a basket to put them in so I don't lose all the pieces. Or a drawer. I could put them in a drawer. I think I do have one there. That would be very cool. Okay, I'm going to try this pad first. Oh, I better put the M on. And I'm going to bring this paper over. Not quite. This one is starting to go dry, guys, with all the stuff I've been using with it.
do have some jet black. That would be good. I have some of this color box black. Where's the tags? We'll put the two at the top. That's a marvelous idea. Two. Ooh, ooh that, not, that is nice. And from. Doesn't that look nice? Okay, I like that. So now there's a reason to buy this because it's going to have tags in it. I better buy it for myself. I always need tags at Christmas. And then I go buy them. I've got all this tons of paper in here. Why don't I make them? Oh, I don't know. Isn't that cool? Very nice. And that's far nicer than store-bought, than, yeah, because you get this metal piece in them. Of course, people throw them away. What good does that do to put that metal in them? Don't know. Well, that is nice, so I do like it. I do have to say, I, I like it a lot. Okay, now we have this little place here for some little things so let's take a look at what we got from um, Celeste and I think I'm going to use this one that's right here it's a little tiny envelope with a little tiny note and I'm going to use some little tiny words right here here we go and we're going to put them on there uh, visions of delight far off bells where we hear hear the carol sweet uh, a merry merry Christmas day Here's the carol sweet. I think I like that one the best. I am going to put a little bit of glue on this. Unless it squirts all out like a mad glue thing. And then in that case, we're going to have a whole bunch of glue. Ooh. Here are the carols. I've got um, ink on my hands. We've got just a little note in there. I really messed that one up. But it's okay. It's okay messed up like that. We're going to just go around it with some ink. Just to take care of my inky fingers that marked it up. There we go. And we'll go around the envelope. These are the most adorable envelopes ever. I love them. These are made by Celeste over at Woodland Inspired. There 
we go. And I'm going to slip the little note in there. And then this little note is going to just go in just like so. And just come over the pocket. So you'll know that you need to pull it out. Okay. Okay, so there's that. Now let's see what else we have here. Um, season's greetings. Greetings! Hmm. We have some red stuff there. Um, Christmas. And chocolate. Okay, well, let's start with Christmas. Here we go. Is it going to fit? If I cut it off right at the S here, and if I switch it over and I cut it off at the C, it should fit pretty nicely. I'm going to bring it down just slightly. There we go. I like that. I think that looks sweet. And I think we'll put this chocolate down here maybe. Ooh, that's not going to really fit, is it? It's not going to fit on any of them, really. Oh, I glued it together, guys. Oh, it could go right here. I don't really like that because it doesn't fill the whole thing. Okay. That's why I put it back over here before, because I couldn't make it do its duty. Um, maybe we need a picture here. Oh, we need something else on here. Icicles. I think we'll go with this one. Right down here. It kind of looks like Scotch brand tape, doesn't it? Do you remember how it used to look? Especially at Christmas. Always had the red and black. Didn't it? Pretty sure. I'm going to put it right there and that kind of breaks it up a little bit. And then we'll go right here, chop that off, and I'll unglue it from my shirt. And let's see. Oh, I like that. I think that looks nice. And let's see. Have that little tiny one. See that? I'll save that for something else. Then we do have these. Here's another one of the Scotch ones. Hmm. So, 
guess we'll use that one. And we'll put it right in between those. start clear over here just where it starts to bend over and a little bit of that sticking out the top of these little white things a little bit sticking out the bottom and then we'll go over here up here um, let's use maybe this one it has some black and some red and I think we'll put it right up towards the top know if you need to put glue on these. Um, I always do because I don't want them popping off at some point. I mean I do have some journals that have things that pop off of them every now and then. So I like to make sure that I have these on as solidly as possible. want it to last 150 years you know. I know they won't, but I always like to say that. It just makes me feel so good. Okay, we need something on there. I think what we need on there is... kind of covers everything up, doesn't it? Okay, we won't put that on there. <gasps> I know. I know. I know. Where is it? No, that's not it. It's a mailbox. Right here. What is it? I guess it does belong in this one. There we go. What about that? It would be too tight to put on there, I think. Maybe we'll just put it right back there, like that. Kind of like that. We don't know what we're doing. We just know we are. We know what are doing it. We don't have a clue in it, but we are creatively making things I'm going to put that on just like that at an angle because it will look like it's heading towards somebody's mouth that way when they look at it and this one 
I think what it needs is just a little word like making spirits bright. I need to cut that little piece off the end. There we go. And I'm not sure if I can put a scallop in this or not, but we're going to try. There we go. Have to kind of do it at a different angle. There, look at that. I like that. Making spirits bright. Making your tinsel shine. Making your toenails dance. It all works together. I think we might need a little bit of stars under there. Maybe that one. Like so. I like that. Okay, that's what we're doing. We are, we are. So this needs to go from here to there, there to there. And then how wide is that? About that wide. Tamp it down a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to bleed through and you are going to be very unhappy with it. Because it will probably bleed through right where you don't want it to. And then this part, when you put it down, that will help hold it down too. Because it will soak through the fabric. Just a bit. There. Isn't that cute? There we go. Okay, so now these guys. These guys I want to turn into um, tags, like Christmas tags for presents. So, how do we want to do that? Do we want to scallop them like this? Ooh, I need to cut that top a little bit more straight. Like this. And then where would we put the string on this one? Over here? Or over here? I think maybe we would put it over here. Like so. Yeah. Okay. So there's that one. Now here's this one. This one is large display, German, French, and English toys and dolls. I think I need to trim this one down a little bit too.
And then on this one, I think we'll just round it like so. Like that. And then it will also have a side punch. So we'll back these, just not right this second. And then, oh, Santa, we need to cut the bottom off here. That's where it's got extra something from one of the other tags that was attached to it. Okay. Do the scallop on this one. There we go, and we'll do it right here at the top on this one. It'll need a back too. And then we have this one that says together. Cut some of that off. And um, I'm going to half inch around this one because I just think it needs a half an inch. Yep, it did. That's what it needed. Oh yeah. Oh, that is pretty. I love that. Now its center is what about here? There we go. I don't think that I'll put um, metal in the rest of these and it's just because if you put to and from on them and people use them on packages they're all going to get tossed so no sense in throwing metal into the waste system that you know doesn't need to go there really. So and then here's some more. So I'm going to cut this one off. They're falling on my lap. <laughs> hey, whoop. Now that one says magical up there, but boy, I'm kind of losing the presence of it up there. So I think what I'll do with this one is give it an angle right there. We'll make it into a tag, like so. Find its center, right about there. We'll put it right under the magical. There it is. There we go. Very nice. And then here is another tree. like that one. I think we will let's make it into a, a tag shape too. There we go. I like those. There. Then we have this map of the North Pole. So let's turn it also into a tag. Let's go with the other one, the fatter tag. There, that's okay. That works. There we go. Yeah, yeah that works.
there we go we'll back these like I said for um, and we'll turn this one into a tag as well So we need to back those and put strings on them. There we go. And we have those and we have those. So now we need to put something here. I don't remember if I said I had something to put there or not. But let's see what we have here. Um, we could turn these into tags as well. So let's cut some of these up. Um, let me put these... I'm starting to get big glue globs on the top, so... Oh, I can see that that one is stuck, see? Oh, there it went. Whew. Those guys. I was thinking, oh no, I'm going to have to get in there and clean that out. Ick. Okay. Put this one in there. Tried to put a piece of string in there. Well, that won't help me, will it? Okay, now let's put this one aside and bring out the bigger cutting mat. Get rid of some of these doodads here. Okay. Oh, there's a little booklet one. Let me get rid of these. Since I decided not to use those. Put that over there. And we'll go ahead and cut these out. And then what? And then I'll probably just be letting you go because you don't want to see all this boring stuff, do you? Okay, now that little piece right there. Right there. Look at that, I did it. <laughs> La 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 Tis the season to be jolly Fa la 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 So, what I'm going to do with these is turn them into tags. And we'll have a booklet of tags. So you buy the booklet, you get all the tags, you use all the tags up, and then you know what you have? A notebook for after Christmas to use during the winter time while it's snowing. We'll have to round that off. I can tell that already. I'm going to just cut it down a little bit more. And we have Mary and Bright. Oh, let me cut this little piece off first. Oh, look at how much red I got on there. Sheesh. 
I'll never get that off. I'm going to leave it. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. We love a Merry Christmas. We love a Merry Christmas. It's going to be a Merry Christmas this year. Because we believe in Santa. We believe in the magic. I think, I think we do. Take that apart. Looks like I'm keeping you right here. Ooh, little tiny tags. Look at those. Those are fun. Fun. And I think we'll leave this one like that that says Santa. I love that. And we'll cut these into very tiny little tags. Let me cut that little piece off right there. There we go. And this one. There. We'll cut a little off this side too. Make it a little more even. And these I'll make with this little tiny tag. Here we go. I think this one. Oh, how cute. That is adorable. And there's one. I guess we'll just leave that little red stripey at the top. Why not? Oh, because we don't like it. That's why not. Because it looks out of place. There we go. We just cut it off right there. And then our little happy guy here. Okay. Those are adorable, aren't they cute? Okay, so we have those tags. And then we have a couple of big ones here. One that says, oh, what fun. And one says, believe. It's like it's telling us, you better believe. Or you know what's going to happen. No presents for you. <laughs> oh, those were the days having little ones at Christmas time. I so loved it. Tag and a tag. Oh, I love that. We'll put to and from on the back. I'll use the bigger one on this one. Oh, I love that. That's going to make a nice nice Christmas tags for presents, yeah. There, that's nice too. I think, I think on this one, yeah, I think it'll be a scallop so that um, I can angle the tag a little bit, the tag hole, just a little bit here. Since it's so close to the C and the S at both ends. And then this one. 
um, I think we'll do it the same way. I will make these angle cuts like tags on all four sides. There we go. And then we'll have all kinds of tags in our booklet here. And uh, in a few days, this will be on my Etsy site. These will be backed with the red or white or cream. I might do cream on the back. And um, then, like I said, you have a nice booklet of tags for Christmas presents. And, oh, we got to decorate the front too. But you'll see it. I'll show it to you when, it, when I get ready to put them all on Etsy. I will definitely bring them all back and show you what they're all about and show you all the front covers and everything. Yeah, it'll be fun. Okay, thanks for joining me today, and I will see you all on... Oh gosh, this is Friday, so I'll see you all on Monday. So I really don't like to film on the weekends. I just try to get so many other things done. So so that's why I don't film on the weekends. Um, I just got things to do. Oh, busy person. And I'm trying to still get organized here in my room. Oh my goodness. Whoever said organizing was easy was not correct. They were wrong. So, oh, and then I do have some things from Celeste that I want to put in here. Um, like maybe we'll put on the front of this a tag. Oh, no, I know what we'll do. I've been using these hearts. There, look at that. That's what I've been putting on the front. This is a cute, cute little text. Right there. And Merry Christmas to you. So let's put that on really fast before I forget what I'm doing. And then I'm going to continue on while you guys continue on with your day. And... I tell you, I've really been working on these <laughs> journals a lot. Notebooks, I guess they are. You know, it's all the, the fine details. Is You start putting things on, like the velvet and the trims, and you're like, oh gosh, now I need to do something more here, and I need to do something more there. And I would kind of like to put some charms on them somewhere, you know, up here some um, some jewels or something. I know I have something, but I don't know where I put it right this second. But it wouldn't go with this one anyway. This one needs something red up there. So anyway, we'll do that. When I come back, you'll see that it gets done. You'll see that it gets done. Ooh, got something brown on that. I must have got ink on it. Oh, oh no. There, I think I got it off. Yeah, I want to put that on there. And then the other one. Oh, the other one is here. It's not here. So definitely going to do that. Okay, I'm going to leave that right there for me to do. And I will see you all on Monday. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to become a subscriber. I'd love to have you along. And thank you to all my new subscribers. Hi! Make sure you leave a comment. I'll comment back. I try to comment on every single one. So, might all be the same comment, but I'm commenting. <laughs>
No, I don't usually leave the same comment. So, anyway, hugs to everybody. See you next week. Bye.